Hi Six Formers, this is Miss Maya. I hope you're all well, keeping safe, looking after yourself. We know it's a really, really difficult time and we're doing our very, very best to keep you active, to get you working on things that you'll be working on in school. And for this week, actually working on personal statements and thinking about your options post 18. I've been asked to speak to you guys about writing an effective personal statement. So here goes. Uh, my first advice would be that you need to start by doing your research. Now, the most important thing is to make sure you're on Unifrog, you've shortlisted your university choices, your subject choices. Once you have a good idea of what you're actually interested in doing, that, that has got to be the starting point. Following on from that, when you are shortlisting your universities, you'll have an idea of which university you actually do want to go to. Now, my advice is that you actually go onto those university websites and look for what they are in particular looking for in their personal statements. So for example, if you wanted to study chemistry at University College London or at King's College London, what you do need to do is go on to Google. Sometimes it's just as easy as writing in a personal statement for King's College London or a personal statement for University College London, a personal statement for Westminster University. And they will actually tell you what they look for specifically in their personal statements. What you have to remember is there are thousands and thousands of young people across the country that will be applying for the same course at the same university as you. And many of them will have the same predicted grades as you. The only difference between your application and their application is the supercurricular activities that you do to get yourself into that university. So to start with, what is the difference then between a supercurricular and an extracurricular? Supercurricular activities are the activities that you undertake to demonstrate your passion for the subject you are interested in studying. So if I was uh, to go back in time and wanted to study psychology, I know I would need to have a look at what is out there for me to demonstrate my passion and interest in psychology. Um, that ranges from reading books, listening to podcasts, um, reading journals, going to university lectures. There are so many different opportunities available. You must be engaging in those supercurricular activities. And I know that's really difficult at the moment because you've got to access everything from the internet and at home. But the more reading you can do, the more you can say you've done in your personal statement, the stronger your position will be. So the starting point would be to have an introduction. Now, from my understanding and from what I've always been told, universities don't really like the cliche personal statements. So start with a really genuine um, paragraph on why you are actually interested in that subject area. Where does that interest come from? And where that interest is actually going to take you. Once you have actually written your introduction, that's the best starting point. Now what you need to do is research what universities are looking for in students who would like to study that subject area. So for example, if you're interested in studying business management, the, the skill set that they expect you to have is to be able to competently analyze, evaluate, um, look at problem solving, um, look at case studies, come to justifications, proposals. And for that, what you need to do is you need to consider how do the subjects that you are currently studying at A-level prepare you um, for those skills or develop those skills in you. So if you were studying law, there's a big, big focus on problem solving. And how does that then relate to studying business at university? If you are studying chemistry, there's a lot involved in problem solving there in English literature, analysis and evaluation. I mean, the list is endless, but the key here is Google. Yeah, if, if you have to Google it, Google it. There is information out there on Unifrog as well. But Google what are the skills that you need for the particular degree that you are interested in and write a personal, uh, your personal statement. What it needs to do is, it needs to say how the subjects you've studied at sixth form have developed those skills. Now, if you have studied a subject that at A level that you want to continue at university, so for example, economics, you can start talking about the areas of economics that you've been mostly interested in, um, why you've been interested in those areas, and talking about how you look forward to developing that, that knowledge and that interest in that area more by going into that at university. So we've gone through introduction, we've gone through skill set and making sure you relate that back to the subjects that you are currently studying so you can show universities that you have the skills already and you are going to be working on developing them um, a lot more over the three years that you study with them. Now we come back to supercurricular and this has got to be the real focus of the personal statement here. 
what supercurricular activities have you done that shows you are so interested in that subject area? And I know that it's really difficult for you because unfortunately you're not in that position where you can go and see universities at the moment, attend university lectures. Um, it's so difficult. But there are so many podcasts that you can listen to. There is so much reading you can do. Get in touch with your teachers. Ask them to direct you to what you can be doing in terms of supercurricular so that you can use those um, pieces of evidence to show the university just how passionately you feel about the area that you would like to study at university. Now, um, link that back to competencies as well. So in Unifrog, there is a section called competencies. It lists the different competencies that universities, employers, apprenticeship um, providers will look for. You also need to relate back to how you've developed those skills over your time at the sixth form. So for example, leadership opportunities, teamwork, um, independence, resilience. It's so important to get all of these things into your personal statement and I know that's difficult because there is a word count, but if you work on getting those personal statements, first drafts together, when we do take them in, you're in a lot stronger position than you would be if we weren't having this progression week. I hope this video has helped. We will be holding sessions where we can speak with you and answer your questions. So please make sure you are there so we can support you further with your personal statement. We look forward to seeing you very, very soon and good luck. See you soon. Bye.